One man who had an important reason to get there was the father of Egyptian archaeology, Sir Flinders Petrie. In 1905, the British archaeologist was excavating the ruins of a temple there when his wife Hilda tripped over a stone in the sand and saw what she described as an ugly scrawl on the stone. When the Petries examined it further, they discovered an inscription that was similar to hieroglyphics, but different enough to stir their interest. Since then, more than 30 inscriptions have been discovered at Serebit el Kodim, all with the same mysterious characters. The writing would later be called proto-Sinetic, meaning first or originally in the Sinai. Experts identified 22 characters all based on Egyptian hieroglyphic symbols. But unlike hieroglyphs, each character stands for a sound, making this the world's first phonetic alphabet. When Petrie first saw the characters, he connected them with the Israelites. Here we have the result, at a date some five centuries before the oldest Phoenician writing that is known. This is a writing independent of hieroglyphics and cuneiform. It finally disproves the hypothesis that the early Israelites who came through this region into Egypt and passed back again could not have used writing. Petrie was convinced that hieroglyphics were the source of this alphabetic script. And he was also convinced that this was a Semitic language. The proto-Sinaitic inscriptions were later found in three other locations throughout Egypt and the Sinai Peninsula. The earliest ones are from the 19th century BC, when Joseph, the son of the Israelite patriarch Jacob, lived in Egypt, while the majority of the inscriptions date to the 15th century, or the time of Moses. That means that this alphabet existed throughout the entire captivity of the Israelites in Egypt. Moses would have been able to use it to write the Torah, and the Israelites would have been able to read it. While most scholars agree that this is a Semitic language, author Douglas Petrovich takes it one step further. He says it's an early form of Hebrew, making Hebrew the world's oldest alphabet. <laughs> 